Hello everyone and welcome to this instructional video on how to put together your foldable flourish house. This is a lovely decoration we've come up with um, to bring a little bit of flourish house to you and maybe you can hang it on your Christmas tree. Um, so this should have come to you in your physical copy of In The Flow this month. If, if you don't receive a physical copy um, you could print yours out. Um, and now I'm going to show you how to put it together. So for the first thing we're going to do is, if you're using the cardboard option, we're going to glue our sheet onto our cardboard. I'm going to use my Pritt stick, so you just want to cover it all over and try and stick it down really nice and flat. If you don't have any glue at home, um, what you can do is you can use a little bit of flour. So this is just plain flour, um, about a teaspoon of it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some water. So I'm just going to add it a teaspoon at a time and mix it in until it forms a nice paste. So mine took about two teaspoons of water. It depends um, on the kind of flour you have and um, how much water it'll take, but you just want it to kind of look like a kind of runny paste and you can use this instead of glue. You just want to smear it on nice and thin. You can even just use your finger, but if you've got a paintbrush at home, that might be quite good. So that's your glue alternative if you don't have any glue in at the moment. Now it's colouring time. Let's get colouring. Here's one I coloured earlier. All right, so our next step is we're gonna do our cutting out. My best tip is I would cut out your instructions first. So I'd do a big cut down here and along here, just to make sure you've got those there. And you want to make sure that you're not cutting off any of the tabs with letters on them. So you need to keep everything that has a letter on it attached. That is very important. Alright, so now you should have one cutout house and just a little bit of instructions just in case. If any of these little kind of sheets have started to come unstuck from your cardboard as well, just give them a glue back down, leave it to dry before we do the next step. Our next step is we're going to fold each of these lettered tabs back the way. When you fold them back it should look like this so you're folding them away from your picture back the way and try and get them as straight as possible and then one really good thing to do is once you've got them folded give them a rub along just to really cement that crease maybe with the back of a pen or a pencil and it'll just make it much easier to get it to stay that way. Folding job number two, we want to start creating the kind of box shape for this. So what we're going to do is we're going to fold in between each of the sections of our house so it's easier to put together. So now you've got what can easily be folded into a box. Don't worry if some of your bottom tabs kind of get in the way, just move them out of the way for a wee second. This is just going to make it easier when we all fold it and put it together. Third folding job is we're going to fold in our two roofs and our base. So you want to again fold along this line here to fold that in and then we're going to fold our two houses just along the line where it meets with this triangle. That's the best way to put it kind of along the kind of the, the ramparts bit really. So you can start to see how it's going to be fitting together now and kind of see how all the bits connect. And then the last thing we're going to do is we're going to do a little fold along these top white bits. We're going to fold them forward this time because we want them to stick together nicely when we finish. If you're using cardboard, that step can be a little bit more tricky than if you're using paper, but even if you just kind of give it a little push forward, it'll help it glue together and stay together much more easily. Now we've got all our folds done, they're all nice and ready, nice and clear. We can see how it's going to fit together. Now we're going to start gluing.
If you are using your flower glue, just be aware this process might take a little bit longer because it does take longer to dry. So I would just glue a bit, leave it by the radiator for a bit, glue, then come back when it's dry and do the next step. So it might require a bit more patience than if you're just using glue. So I think the easiest thing to do is glue tab A onto the inside of the one with the tree, like that. So that's that all nice and glued. I weighed it down with some masking tape in between just to make sure it's holding in place while it's drying. And then our next step is we're going to fold in tabs G, I and H, cover them in glue and then fold our base up to make our box nice and secure. So now this is nice and secure, the next bit we're going to do is the fiddly bit. And first thing we're going to do is see these tabs B and E, we're going to pop glue onto those and then fold this side of the roof up so that they're glued in nicely. Next up, we're going to glue tabs C and D and then fold up this side of the roof to come in there. Our last bit now is we're going to glue our roofs together and then we'll be finished. Uh, but if you want to be able to hang your little flourish house on a Christmas tree um, or up somewhere, and um, we can attach some string. So you want to place your string in between the two roofs before you glue it. So popping it in there and then we'll glue it shut. So string in if you want it and then we're going to apply glue here, pinch it together. Maybe if you've got something to clip it. That would really help. Woohoo, that's us finished. Um, you should now have your lovely little 3D flourish to put somewhere lovely in your home. Um, I hope you've enjoyed that. If you're really pleased with it, please send us a picture and we'd love to see them. Um, and I hope you have a very happy Christmas. <laughs>